have to get out here, fellas. Thanks for the lift. This is it, fellas. Thank you very much. Got, Mrs. You see, we're down to our last six bucks, aren't we, Ollie? Yeah. Well, uh, kindly be seated. I'll talk to you in a little while. Thank you, Miss. Hello. Yes, Sterling Employment Agency. Who? Yes. Oh, yes, I understand. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Vanderveer. I'm in a terrible predicament. I'm giving a party tonight. My maiden butler have left me without notice. Could you send me over a couple to replace them? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't any on the list, but I'll see what I can do for you. Do you wish a single or married couple? I prefer a married couple. All right, Mrs. Vanderveer. I'll do my best to find you a maiden butler. Goodbye. Too bad you wasn't a woman. That'd be a swell job for us. Madam, but did I understand you to say that you were looking for a maid and a butler? Yes, do you know of anyone? I know a couple that will just fill the bill. You do? Are they available? I could get them for you right away, if not sooner. Well, I'd appreciate it very much if you'd have them go to this address immediately. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come, Stanley. Goodbye. 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 What's the idea? We don't know any couple, do I? You don't, but I do. Is that so? Mm. Well, of course. Ah, very nice, my dear. <laughs> it's wonderful what you can do when you have to. Thank you, Baldy. You're such a dear. Uh, oh, uh, what's the latest on the maid and butler situation? I haven't heard a thing, and I'm terribly worried. Oh, don't you worry a bit. If the worst comes to the worst, why, well, you can serve a buffet. Oh, excuse me. Uh, are you the head butler? I am Mr. Vanderveer. Oh, well, we are from the employment agency. Oh, yes. Uh, we're the best they could do at the last moment. So I can see. Well, come right in. Thank you. Come here. <coughs> uh, this way. Oh, 
Oh, darling, this is the new maiden butler, uh, Mrs. Vanderbeer. How do you do, ma'am? Strange-looking person. Well, what do you expect on a few hours' notice? If you'd have gone to the trouble we did to get us a job... Uh, uh, what he means, I mean she means, is that this is the best they could do upon such short notice. <laughs> oh, never mind, dear. Any old port in a storm, you know. I suppose you're right. Call Pierre. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ollie, and this is Agnes. Slight accident. <laughs> Did you ring, madame? Yes, Pierre. This is the new maiden butler. Show them to their quarters and explain their duties. Yes, madame. Come, dear. This way. Everything from soup to nuts, folks. Come and get it. What do I do now? You can take these cocktails. What, all of them? Certainly. See if you can do that without spilling them. Okay, boys, sit down. Now, don't nobody eat till Miss Vanderbeer gets here. She went to change her dress. Well, kid, how does she look? <laughs> well, folks, the joke's on me. I've got you all seated wrong. The old guy wants you all mixed up. I'll fix it. Just uh, say you. Me? You Me? come over here, yes. And bring your, your eats with you. Uh, and you go over there and take your eats with you. That's right. Now, that's all right. Now, don't get excited. I'll have it all fixed. Just uh, And you go over there. But take your eats with you now. And you go over there and take your food with you. That's it. And you go over there and take your food with you. And you come over here. And you come over here. And you go over there. Will you keep quiet just a moment, please, and quit interrupting. And you come over here and bring your eats with you. That's it. No, 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 don't sit there. Over here. Bring your eats with you. <laughs> don't get them mixed up. And you go over there. Just a minute. Take... I now, Janet, you better go sit down. You come right here and sit down. Right there. Now, you hand away. No, 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 don't sit there. Now, you go over there and take your eats with you, and you go over there. That's right. Come on, move fast, folks. Don't... And you... Now, just take it easy, old boy. We'll have everything all fixed. And... Oh, no, no, no. Get, get over there, please. Take these with you, and you come over here. Don't you sit there. No, no, don't sit there, please. Now, one of you boys go right over there, and you come right here. No, 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 you must get the floor on this seat right here. That's right. Now, if you just get... That's it. Just go right around there and get your seat, and get your food. You got... 
That's now. Sit down, will you, Pop? Pop. Yeah. And if you go right up there, right there, and sit right there. That's it. No, 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 no. Please, uh, uh, over on this side. Now, now you sit right over there. That's right. Oh, no, 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 no. Over here, please. And, and if you sit right there, that's right. No, 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 not you. The other one. That's right. Now you sit right there, and you go over there, please. Yes. And then you sit right there. I'll have it just a moment now. And and you sit right there. And you right here, little lady. That's right. Now if you'll come. Stop. Everyone, sit down right where you are. Agnes, will you please stir up the salad without any dressing? What kind of a joint is this? What's the matter? He wants me to serve the salad undressed. Well, if he wants the salad undressed, that's the way he'll have it. Go get the salad. Love me a broom.
Well, here we are at last, right down in the gutter. I wonder what's the matter with us. We're just as good as other people, yet we don't seem to advance ourselves. We never get any place. You know what the trouble is, don't you? We've never had no education. That's what's the matter. You see, we're not illiterate enough. I guess you're right. Sure I'm right. You see, if we went to school like other people, we, we would learn our three R's, and today, there'd be no job too small for us. Believe me. What do you mean, three R's? Well, reading, writing, and... and figuring. Figuring? Sure. You know, two and two makes something, and four and four makes something. It's different to the first... You mean arithmetic. Yeah, I knew what it meant, but I couldn't say it. So say, I think you've got something there. Have I? Yeah. After we finish work today, we'll start going to night school. That's a good idea. Too bad we didn't think of that before. Yeah. that on the sidewalk. Well, we're going to clean it up anyway. Officers, for your quick action. Don't thank us. Those are the boys that made the capture. My boys, you've done a service for me that I can never forget. You've saved me hundreds of thousands of dollars. What can I do to repay you? I don't know, sir. Maybe I could give you some work to do in the bank. Well, that's very kind of you, sir, but I'm afraid we wouldn't be of much help to you. You see, we haven't got any education, have we, Stan? No, we don't know a thing, do we? That's right. In fact, we were just talking of going to night school. I see. Diamonds in the rough. And all you need is a little polish with the proper setting. If it's an education you want, you shall have the finest that money can buy. What do you think? What do you think? Well, it'll save us the trouble of going to night school. It's a go. <laughs> What I see. What is it? I think they're entitled to the royal initiation, don't you? By all means. Now listen. 
You round up the boys, we all have a lot of fun. I'll start them off in the maze. <clears throat> So this is Oxford. Yes, sir. I think we're going to like it here. Mm -hmm. oh, pardon me, but haven't you come to the wrong college? Well, this is Oxford, isn't it? Yes, but uh, you're dressed for Eton. Well, that's swell. We haven't eaten since breakfast, have haven't we? Haven't eaten since breakfast. It's your idea of us being dressed like this. No wonder everyone's staring at us. Well, gentlemen, if I can be of any help to you at all, I'm entirely at your service. No, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. I wonder if you could tell us where to find the head teacher. Oh, you mean the dean? Why, it'd be a pleasure to escort you there myself. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, by the way, have you a pass? A pass? Yes, you must have a pass to see the dean. Well, where do we get it? From the pass, Professor. Well, where do we find it? Well, now, you see that entrance to the hedge over there? Yeah. Well, now, when you enter there, you go to the right, then to the left, then to the right again, and then to the right again. Then after you've been to the right, you keep going right until you come to the left turn again. Then. You go right again until you find yourself left on the right side. Huh. Oh, I know it sounds a bit complicated, but if you keep to the right, you simply can't go wrong. Oh, thank you. Now then, when you come to the exit on the other side of the hedge, you'll see a sign with a hand pointing to the professor's lodge. Is that to the right or to the left? My dear old thing, it makes no difference. Now, let me get this straight. We go to the left when we, after the... I have the direction, Stanley. Clearly in my mind. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll be right back. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh. Jerry O, I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, Jerry O, toodaloo. Gee, he sure is a swell guy, isn't he? He certainly is. I knew it the minute I set eyes on him. Did? Yeah, that's one thing I pride myself on, is reading character. Is that so? Yeah. No, no, no. To your left. Now to your right. Your left. Now to the right. Wait a minute. All we're doing is going around in cycles. You know what? What? I think we must have taken the wrong turning. What do you mean, the wrong turning? Well, maybe we went to the left instead of to the right. Remember the fellow said, first you turn to the right. All right, then... all right. Now you go to the left and I'll go to the right. And whoever finds the exit first comes back and gets the other one. That's a good idea. Now we're getting someplace. Say, what are we going to do about the trunk? Think we'd better leave it here? Why, certainly not. We may never be able to find it again. Well, I can't carry it. It's too heavy. All right, I suppose it's up to me, as usual. Well, I'm not as big as you are. Get it on my back. Well, I'll do it all I can to help you. <laughs> all right, slide it up. Easy. Got it all right? It'll be all right as soon as I get a grip on it. You want a grip on it? Yeah. There we are now. Now help me up. Now, up to Daisy. All right. Don't forget to holler. I won't. Bye. Goodbye. You all right now? Goodbye. Goodbye.
here. Where are you? I'm here. How can you be here if I'm here? Well, Stan, I'm exactly where you... Will you come and find me? Well, I will as soon as I can find myself. What do you think I am? Can't be in two places at once. Wait. Here we are. Will you show me the exit? Here it is. Oh, swell. Now get me out of here. All right, you follow me. We'll take the shortcut. All right. Right this way. All right. Now, don't lose me. I won't. Hey, just a minute. What did you do with the suitcases? I put them on top of the trunk. If I had been carrying these all the time, get this off of my back. Let's rest a while. I'm tired. I am too. Give me my handkerchief. <sighs> Thank you, Ollie. Will you leave that alone? I thought you just gave it to me. Now cut that out. What's the matter now? I just saw three hands. Now sit down. You're crazy. What? You've been going around in circles all day and you're dizzy. Is that what it is? Why, certainly. You just had a dizzy spell. Huh. Now let me get some rest, will you? <clears throat> Never had one of those before.
Hey, Ollie, I, I don't want to bother you, but I just had another one of those dizzy spells. So, oh, so no what? wonder. Smoking those big black cigars, they're too strong for you. Tell what it... Well, certainly. you see that? Sure, it's one of those dizzy spells again. That wasn't no dizzy spell. Go see what it was. I don't want to see what it was. Go got. see what it was and don't what? argue. Hurry up, no. I'll wait right here for you. Nobody there. Just one of those dizzy spells again. Even you look different. Stan! Oh, Stan! What? Come on! Okay, I'll... Can you beat that? Welcome to Oxford. You know what? What? I think that fellow that sent us in here made a fool out of you. Yes, and if I ever see him again, I'll punch him right in the nose. I don't blame you. Say, I thought you said you could read character. I can, but he was two-faced. Oh. You know, I'll never trust anybody again as long as I live. That's a good idea. Bring them across to Johnson's quarters. The boys have everything arranged. right -o. Well, uh, <coughs> how do I look? Marvelous. Much better than the old Dean himself. <laughs> do you think he'll ever recognize me with this? <laughs> Never in a month of Sunday. <laughs> Hurry, fellas. Here comes Cecil with the chumps. Oh, uh oh. Here, bring him in. Here we are. This way, please. Dean, may I present the two new boys from America? This is Dr. Ramsbottom, the Dean of our university. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dean. Charmed, I'm sure. Uh, meet Professor Pushhapenny, Dr. Pigsfoot, and his brother, Trotter. Well, dear old things, heartiest congratulations on all that sort of thing, on your entrance into dear old Oxford. I hope that our association will be a happy union. And we wish to show our hospitality, true to the traditions of our college, by giving you a most hearty and a royal greeting. Cherry O, I don't think. Uh, thank you very much. Now, uh, is everything in readiness to escort these gentlemen to their quarters? Everything. everything. Then, uh, carry on. For he's a jolly good fellow, he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and so is all of us. I shall be quite some time at the lecture, Jenkins. You may take the afternoon off. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and so he does be mine. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and so say all of us, and so say all of us, and so say all of us, for he's a jolly good fellow.
Well, gentlemen, these are your quarters. Now, don't be afraid to make yourselves at home. Now, ta-ta, skip the gutter. And good luck. We don't think. Say, that Dean's a swell guy, ain't he? Now, there's a man that you can trust. He sure is. Gee, this is a swell joint, I don't think. It's a pit. Lovely. No wonder people go to school. Nice place to live in like this. No flies or nothing. I wonder how long this place has been open. I wonder. You'd think they would advertise this college and let people know that it was on the map. Say, do you know what? What? We didn't have any sleep last night. That's right. In this excitement, I completely forgot it. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's unpack the trunk and make ourselves at home. That's a good idea. English colleges certainly give you the wakes. Don't they, though? You should see what they've done to the dean's bedroom. <laughs> Fix me another snort. Hey, fellows, Katie! Here comes the dean! The dean? No, 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 he can't get out here. He's coming down the hall. What, what should he do? Should he... Did you hear that? Sure, what is it? I don't know, go see. Somebody. Uh, how about 40 winks? That's a good idea. <laughs> Say, Ollie. What now? How about a nightcap? Well, just one. There's no fizz water. Well, get some. no more nightcap. Well, now, what would you do in a case like that? Go and get some. Certainly. Simple. is over there. Oh, probably some old cockroach that had this room before we did. Get a load of that puss. <laughs> Say, did you ever see a face like that anywhere except in a zoo? Sure. Where? In a monkey house. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> monkey house. <laughs> Give me some more fizz water. Mm. Say, I bet you Nicola can hit him in the eye. 
Bet you can. Bet you. All right. You missed. <laughs> give me the bottle. Dime or nothing. All right, I'll give you a chance to get even. All right. Now. What are you doing in my quarters? You've got a lot of nerve. What do you mean, your quarters? They're our quarters. The dean, just give them to us. I am the dean. Read his character. I just did. He's a phony. It's another rib. Sure, he's got ribs all over his face. <laughs> See them? Get out of my quarters, I tell you. You know what the trouble is? What? He's got one of those dizzy spells. Yeah, he's a dizzy dean. Sure, that's what he is. Now, come on, Dizzy. Get out of here before I throw you out. Yeah, and that goes for me, too, Diz. You See can't. No. This is an outrage. I shall have you sent down. I'll have you prosecuted. No! That's her. Oh. And as for you, you'll suffer for this. That's a lot of baloney. There's. See here. Oh, God, the come Come on, get out of here. Or no. we'll, we'll. How dare you? We'll just, I'll tell him all about it. Oh. <laughs> I shall speak to my. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? You'll find out. Hey, Deanie, tell this nitwit to get out of here and stop bothering us. Yeah, he's trying to crash in on our party, isn't well, he? What is this all about? Hey, Dean, tell him. Dean, I reiterate, I am the dean. Ah, oh, don't give us that. He told us he was the dean, and he gave us these quarters. Didn't he, Stanley? He certainly did, didn't you? Is this true, Johnson? Yes, sir. See? Now, don't you feel silly? Yeah, get out of here now. Silence! You shall be expelled. Sent down for this, my lad, all of you. This is the most disgraceful outrage ever perpetrated in the history of Oxford. Report to me in the morning. You may go. Snitches. Jenkins. Yes, sir. Help them to pack their things and see they're taken to their proper quarters. Very good, sir. That is all. <laughs> what will the Peter say when he hears I'm to be expelled? Don't worry. We'll see they're not here tomorrow to testify against us. Snitches like that have no place in Oxford. You're right. The dirty dogs. That's one thing we won't tolerate in Oxford. Snitching. Right, you're yeah, you Come on, let's go and get the boys. We'll do something you about it. Not... You are, gentlemen. These are your quarters. <sighs> Meredith the Valley will be here shortly to attend to your needs. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <clears throat> well, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Can you beat that? What? Look. We're only that far from home. It says I... Come in. How do you do, gentlemen? <laughs> I'm Meredith. <laughs> uh, I'm Mr. Hardy. This is my friend, Mr. Lawrence. How do you do, Mr. Hardy? How do you do, Mr. Law? Your Lordship! Don't you remember me, sir? I'm Meredith. <laughs> Don't you recall I used to take care of you, sir? Look out, another rib. Say, that's a lot of hooey. You never saw him before in your life. No, and I never saw you either. Oh, pardon me. I understand, Your Lordship, why you don't recognize me. Oh, it's a pity, it's a pity. What's a pity? Oh, it's a sad story, sir. It was a great blow to Oxford. You see, it's like this, sir. When His Lordship was here before, he was the greatest athlete and the greatest scholar this university ever boasted of. And oh, what a brilliant mind. Are you trying to make me believe that this is the guy you're talking about? I know it. I was never so sure in my life. Brilliant mind. <laughs> well, I've known him for years, and he's the dumbest guy I ever saw. Aren't you, Stanley? I certainly am. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, pardon me, sir. You don't understand. I can recall your accident most vividly. What accident? It happened in this very room. It was right here, 
at this very window. Your Lordship had just defeated Cambridge, and you were standing there acknowledging the plaudits of the entire student body. And just as I came in with your tea and crumpets, the window slipped and hit you on the head as hard as a heavy hammer. Huh. And when you came to, you'd lost your memory and wandered away from the university. And we never saw or heard of you from that day to this. Pardon me for being frank, but I think that you are screwy. Sure, he's nuts. He's got bees in his cockpit. That's what's the matter with him. Oh, if I could only bring your memory back. Maybe one of these days, some of your peculiar mannerisms may show up. What mannerism? Your Lordship had a most outstanding one. Did I? Mm. And when you got very angry, you'd wiggle your ears in a most extraordinary manner. And you'd fight like a demon. <laughs> fight like a demon. Wiggle your ears. What? Wiggle your ears. I can't wiggle my ears. Of course you can. Of course I can. Now stop this kidding and we don't want to hear any more about it. No oh, more about very it. Very good, sir. Don't want to hear it. Say, why don't you read his character? Maybe he's right. Maybe I am a lordship. You a lordship. And we're only this far from home. Well, I, I knew a fellow once that lost his memory and he's better now. You see... <laughs> is all about. That's the student's chant of revenge, sir. Evidently, some gentleman has violated the ethics of the student body. And when that happens, they're never satisfied until they've hounded the guilty one out of Oxford. We'll cut their throats and take out their tongue. We'll chew them up like chewing gum. Fee, fire, four, Look, they're pointing at us. Don't worry, it's another rib. Oh, no, sir. They never jest in a case like this. them back where they came from. Fee, fi, fo, from. Listen, chaps, we'll go up and make them jump out of the window. If they won't jump, we'll take off their britches and throw them out. Here, let's make it, chaps. They mean us all right. What are we going to do? We'd better get out of here. We want the blood of an American. Be he alive or be he dead. Where can we hide? Climb out the window so long the lace them to the next study and make your escape from there. Say, Ollie, what have we got to do about the trunk? Never mind the trunk. Gracious, Meredith, why don't you fix that window? Hit me right on the cranium. Your Lordship, you've got your memory back. You know me. What on earth are you talking about? Of course I know you. Where's my tea and crumpets? Hurry. Oh, it's a miracle, a miracle. Are you Barney? <laughs> See who that is. Yes. Stop annoying me. Yes, my Lord. Must be losing his memory. Silly old bounder. There's one of them. What is the meaning of this vulgar intrusion? You know what we mean. We are going to take off your britches and run you out of Oxford. What, take off my britches? In the presence of Meredith? Yes, you dirty snitcher. Repeat that remark again. Dirty, dirty snitchers! Meredith, hold my handkerchief. Yes, my lord. Now, I demand an immediate apology. An apology! I'll give you an apology!
wonderful, your lordship, wonderful. Right back to your old form again. Did me all good to see you carry on. Didn't half put it across them. Don't annoy me, Meredith. Get this place cleaned up and uh, hurry with my tin crumpets. Uh, very good. I'm starved, really. <laughs> What's the big idea of throwing me out the window? I beg your pardon? Meredith, who is this coarse person with the foreign accent? Why, you little shrimp! Are you trying to rip me now? Be careful, sir, be careful. His lordship's regained his memory. Don't annoy him, sir. Or he may again become violent. It's on the level, then. Yes, sir. Well, congratulations. I'm sorry, but uh, we've never been introduced. Meredith, will you kindly officiate? Mr. Hardy, meet Lord Paddington. How to do? What is the nature of your business here? Why, Stan, don't you know me? Know you? Why, I never saw you before in all my life. What are you talking about? Don't you remember? We used to sweep the streets together. Sweep the streets? How dare you? How dare you make such slurring remarks? Meredith, show this common person the egress and eject him forcibly. This way, sir. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what you're talking about, but this has gone far enough. I'm gonna mop the floor up with you. Have a care. Wiggling your ears ain't gonna stop me. Come in. Oh, good morning, Fatty. Good morning, Your Lordship. Thank you. Tea, Your Lordship. The Dean wishes to speak with you, Your Lordship. Oh, come right in. Come right in. You may you may remain here, Fatty. Uh, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Uh, would you care to join me in a spot of tea? No, thanks. Not only for me, thank you. Uh, don't stand there like a dummy. Get a chair for the Dean. Pardon my uh, ballet being so horribly uh, stupid. He's not quite broken in yet. Rather thick, as it were. Well, why do you tolerate him? Oh, I don't know. He's, uh, you've got a jolly old face, you know. Uh, breaks the monotony and, uh, helps to fill up the, uh, room and, uh, besides, he's subject to talk to, you understand. I quite understand, sure. Your Lordship. Well, a thousand congratulations for all the wonderful things you've accomplished since your return to Oxford. Oh, ta 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 uh, Might I presume to ask you a favor? Why, certainly. Professor Einstein has just arrived from Princeton, and uh, he's a bit confused about his theory. You don't say. He wondered if you could uh, straighten him out. It would be a pleasure. When could you give him a few moments? Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, Fatty, uh, uh, hand me my memorandum. Let me see now. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and... Uh, Suppose we make it Ash Wednesday. Oh, thank you, Your Lordship. The professor will be so very grateful to you. That's perfectly all right. Uh, incidentally, you may invite him to have lunch with me. Oh. Uh, I'm having pancakes. Oh, thank you, Your Lordship. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Fatty. Thank you. Good gracious, Fatty, what is this? Senna tea? Take this stuff away immediately. Don't let it occur again. My goodness. Hmm. Einstein. If it wasn't for that bump on the head, he wouldn't know Einstein from a beer stein. Uh, by the way, uh, Fatty, I've noticed lately that you, you're getting terribly sloven. How do you mean, sir? Well, uh, you don't seem to have the dignity of becoming of a lackey. Uh, no poise. Uh, you don't walk right or something. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, pull in your stomach. That's better. Now, now throw, throw your shoulders back. That's right. Now, uh, chin up. Chin up. No, 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 no. Both of them. Both. 
There, that's better now. Now, now walk around. Let me see you. Now, uh, snap into it. Uh, make it brisker. Brisker. Now, chins up. Chins up. Now, look what you've done, clumsy. Listen, I've had enough of this. Why, I knew you and I had more brains in my little finger than you had in your whole carcass. Even with your overcoat on. You're a witty old stick in the mud, aren't you, Fanny? You bet I am, and don't call me Fanny. Oh, don't get excited, old dear. Don't Who's excited? I'm through. Well, you I... can take your lordships, your Roxford, and your Paddingtons, and do what you like with them. Why, I'm surprised, I've never really. been so humiliated in my life. I'm very trying to help you out, really, old dear. No thing Anything. intentional, really. And there's one more I'm thing, too. I didn't like that double chin crack. Well, that's ah, you know, well, a hero. My goodness, what a step up. Open it. What's the matter? Have you got one of those dishes? Ah! 